Hi, Professor Betty Brown here. The topic is installation art. Most people think of sculpture as something that is three-dimensional and probably best exists sitting on a pedestal. However, installation art is a form of sculpture that is so big that not only does it occupy an entire room, but you, the viewer, can't walk around and look at it on a pedestal, but have to walk through it. Let me give you three examples of installation artists so you can get an idea of what I mean by this. The first is a Southern California artist named Bill Viola. He's perhaps the best known artist who works in computer and video as his art form. Bill Viola's done works like Angels for the New Millennium, which are immense video screens with images that are very much computer manipulated, if not computer generated, that appear to be people going up in flames or submerging in water, people with angelic powers and angelic presence and really intense sound. And as you walk through the room, these angelic figures surround you and the sound, you're immersed in the sound and it's a really different kind of physical sensation. Another Southern California installation artist is Suvon Gear. And Suvon Gear has done artworks that involve movement, sound, and smell. One of her pieces, in one of her pieces she took an immense tree trunk, inverted it in the art gallery, and lay, um, suspended it, slowly turning from the ceiling, over a bed of fresh cornmeal that was intensely yellow and really had a strong smell. And then there was sound involved as well. So as you walked into that room, all your senses were engaged. A final artist who's done a lot of installations is Cheryl Dullabon, who does photography and sculpture and also involves living plants as part of her installations. So when you walk through her installations, you see the entrance of nature into the gallery space.